Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for a daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And today's reading will be for Tuesday, October the 20th. And all week, we will be using John Holland's Oracle deck, Spirit Messages. And let's get straight to the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And first card is Stand Your Ground, repeat card. And we have Strength, another repeat card. Okay. And we have let go. Again, I am not a magician by any means. Okay? These cards are shuffled right before your very eyes. I pull cards from the top, the bottom, the center. I shuffle them after each card that I pull. And we have some repeat messages here that Spirit wants us to emphasize. Stand your ground. Okay? Who is not standing their ground? Who's not standing up for themselves? Who's still being taken advantage of by family, friends, your employer, your spouse, your lover, your partner? Somebody isn't standing their ground. Okay? And maybe it's because we're just caught up in negative thinking, anxiety. Maybe we're just plain exhausted and we don't have the energy to stand our ground. Okay? And it begins with making sure that you are grounded and centered. And of course, well rested, if at all possible. I know it's easier said than done for people to get sleep. Standing your ground is important. It's a must. At this point in time, enough of us have been taken advantage of by people. People take advantage of my kindness all the time. And so finally they realize I'm kind to a certain point, but I'm not going to be their doormat. You might have to set some people straight, okay? You know who you need to stand your ground with. And the strength card. Again, we fail to stick up for ourselves and what we believe in and, and you know, take control of our life and take our, our power back because sometimes we don't feel like we have the strength. People will wear you down. They wear me out every day if I allow them to. But you have to realize that it's much easier to try to maintain your inner peace, okay, than to regain it. Okay, so ask your angels. Pray. Ask your spirit guides. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. Do what makes you feel strong. And then the last card is let go. And how appropriate for the season. It's a pair of hands with beautiful orange and yellow leaves. Uh, just like we're having uh, the season of fall right now. And all the leaves are falling from the trees. These leaves are falling from these hands. And what I get from spirit is, is something has run its cycle. Okay. We're entering a different season in our lives. Just like nature has its own seasons and cycles, the moon has its own cycles. This here is showing the leaves are falling off the trees. Okay? It's time to let go of something, just like the, the trees are letting go of their leaves. And in the spring, they'll grow new ones. Something has to be let go of in your life. And it probably has to do with the standing your ground and standing up for yourself. You may have to let someone go or something go. Maybe it's a job, maybe it's a lover, maybe it's a friend. Could be a family member, okay? But you need to let go. Again, when you let go of the bad things that no longer serve you, you're making room for new things in your life. But if you keep clinging to things that are not working, things that are bad and not for your highest good, you're holding yourself back. This card, Let Go, reads, Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. 
Did I not just say that? That these things hold us back? And it also says, trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. And again, here we go with the highest good. If you're not looking out for yourself, who is? Who is? It's time to let go of things. Full moon isn't for another two weeks, but I suggest releasing things if you can today or at least start making a list and at the end of the month with the full moon be sure that what you need to rid yourself of is on that list and just turn it over to the universe I know it's scary to make changes people fear the unknown because we don't know you know what's gonna happen when we leave someone or leave a job or distance ourselves from a family member the future seems uncertain but if we cling to things that aren't working, like this card says, and we refuse to let go, you're holding yourself back. Don't deprive yourself of feeling happiness, feeling joy, feeling gratitude, feeling the inner peace that you deserve. You know in your life what needs to go. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be back.